Hey guys, it's day 41 of playing on a VIP Zero account, and unfortunately I'm going to call it quits. Uh, it's just taking up too much time. Uh, I need to spend more time on other things in my life, and playing two accounts at once is taking up too much time. I'm going to switch back to just playing on my VIP Six account. What I'm going to go over in this video is the things that went well and didn't go well with playing on a VIP Zero account. <clears throat> um, what went pretty well was climbing faster than the people on the server I'm at, using milestones, um, rushes in mini games. I was able to get um, into the yurt by winning one of the cross server rushes. Still pretty high up there in the cross server rushes, rank two, Talon. In the last mini game, I came in second, personal ranking. I'm doing pretty well in the current mini game too. Um, so many games and rushes and all that are going well. Uh, my growth is going pretty well. I'm starting to grow faster as my account gets older. I was able to get into a legion and a horde that were helping my growth. And um, I think if I'd continued playing in this account for the full 18 months, probably would have had no problem getting to the 1 billion sov, based on the fact that everything was going well. Um, but it's just taking up too much time. I find myself spending time on it when I should be doing other things, and I don't want to keep doing that, so I'm going to go back to playing on only one account in the interests of not spending too much of my life on this game. Um, some of the things that could have gone better is on if I had joined the server on day one, I would be able to compete much better in the meat, silver, and soldier rushes. As it is, because my growth is like a month behind everyone else's, I do really badly in the resource rushes, the meat, silver, and and the problem is I miss out on the higher tier of rewards from all those, which has a compounding effect, um, which makes me do worse than the other rushes as well, because I don't have as much loot from the meat, silver, and soldier rushes. So if you want to do really well on a server, it definitely makes a big difference to join on day one as opposed to when the, when the server's a month old already. So that's a big deal. Um, another thing is if you're going to play this game at all, and you're going to devote a lot of time to it, um, VIP 0 probably isn't the way to go. I would recommend at least VIP 2, otherwise you'll get stuck in the same situation as me where um, it takes you an eternity to use up these visits. Um, I wasn't able to place very high in this rush because I couldn't use up all my uh, visits in time. I still have hundreds left that I can't use up because I can't do the visit many function until you get to VIP 2. So if you're going to play this game at all, VIP 0 is probably a little too punishing. I would recommend going with VIP 2 instead. Um, VIP 2 is still pretty cheap. Um, let's see. So not sure how much it takes to get to VIP 2, but it's not a lot, if I remember correctly. Like probably 15 bucks or something like that. Which isn't that much for a game if you're going to be spending a lot of time on it. There's a few things. Um, left that this account really needs to get going properly. Um, so if you're trying to follow along this video for growing your own account, here are some things that you would want to be doing. Um, you want to continue to focus on getting as many of these as possible. Um, right now, I'm about almost halfway there towards getting enough to raise to 400. That's a really big um, step. Until you get enough to raise an advisor to 400, you pretty much can't be very competitive in the Sov Rush. Um, that's the reason why I've chosen to invest so much in the Talent Rush instead here is because uh, you pretty much either have to pick going hard in Talent Rush or going hard in Sov Rush on a, an account like this. And until you can raise one of your advisors to level 400, it's, it's better to go for the Talent Rush because it's easier to compete there. Um, but once you can get one of your advisors to 400, you can start trying to compete in the Sov Rush a little more feasibly. Another thing you'll notice is... um. It's really hard to start gaining SOV quickly until you get one of your advisors to 400. As you can see, I've been playing for a full month and I'm only at 50 million. Um, but after I were, were to get one of my advisors to 400, um, all the talent that you put into an advisor at 400 becomes a lot more efficient when they're... So it just makes it easier to gain SOV after you get past that milestone. And by milestone, I just mean like goalpost. It's not an actual milestone, but it just helps a lot to have an advisor at 400. Um, another thing that this account is lacking is I don't have a single queen unlocked. I was going to go for a Minbala because she's in Kuba's collection. 
Um, and the reason why not having a queen unlocked is kind of a problem is because when you're winning uh, cross server rushes and you're um, piling up a lot of these queen presence tokens. Let's see, I've got about 28 of them. So I can't use them on anyone because I don't have a single queen unlocked. That's another thing I would want to do. Uh, another thing is getting a war maiden. Um, war maidens take a while to unlock free to play, but they're actually you can unlock them without spending a single dime of money, and they're an adv a gold advisor with a consort. So top three in an account like this would probably be your first wolf, um, your first queen, and your first war maiden, and you'd probably finish the wolf first. And then depending on how lucky you got with trying to unlock a queen, you might do the queen second, or you might do the war maiden second. Um, probably until you get an advisor to level 400, you would try to like do really well every other talent rush. Um, one of the things you can do to do well in charm and intimacy rushes early on is when there's stuff like Rose Garden. Um, you can get the uh, wrong way. You can get these. Those are really good for helping you win the rushes. These are really good for helping you win the rushes. Um, when there's that astral game where you roll the dice and go around to get the star luck, um, getting the charm and intimacy items there also helps you do well in those rushes. And then in the uh, summer reward market, this one's pretty good to get, 777 diamonds, and the loot it gives you is pretty decent. But overall, what you should be doing is making sure that you're maxing out the minigame stamina with your diamonds. If you can't even do that, then you shouldn't be spending diamonds on anything else. So that's always the first priority. Because ranking high in minigames will give you... It'll give you talent, which is really important. It'll give you flags, which is really important. And it'll give you promotion items to get the advisor to 400. So all of these three things are starring up your advisor, talenting it up, and leveling it up. So ranking high in midi games is like priority number one. Priority number two is ranking high in rushes. And then optimizing your milestones. And then just being active in general. Um, if you're a VIP 2, you won't have to spend as much time as you will as VIP 0. Um, if you're like VIP 4 or 5, you'll have to spend even less time. In general, you know, the more money you put into the game, the less time you have to put in. But it's a balancing act. You can still gain solve pretty well as VIP 0 or VIP 2. It's just, uh, if you're going to try to do it as VIP 0, you'll have to spend a lot of time just pressing this button over and over, which is too tedious for me. If you have all the time in the world and you're really patient, I guess you can do it. But it's got to be too much for me. Um, another thing that kind of discouraged me from continuing to play on this account and why I decided to abandon it was because in order to grow effectively, you really need to build up a brotherhood level um, with people who you're going to be playing with in mini games. And uh, the reason why I kind of hesitated to do that is because I don't want to get someone to spend a lot of points building up a brotherhood with me, and then I just end up quitting, you know, and it wastes all their effort they've put into building up with me. So rather than just uh, building up a brotherhood of people to grow in this account and then leaving them in the lurch, I decided I would just go ahead and call it quits. Um, you should have already learned enough from this video series to understand um, the theory behind gaining solve quickly. Uh, I'm sure some of you would have liked to follow along and watch me actually do it, but all that's left is just to apply the lessons that I've shown you in these videos. And the amount of time it's taking up, it's about especially with some of the more time-consuming mini-games like Eagle Hunt, taking up an hour or two a day for me to do this. And an hour or two a day is just a lot for something that I'm going to end up throwing away later on anyway. Well, anyway, that's it for the video. I just wanted to explain to everyone why I was discontinuing that series. Um, I'll continue to answer any questions that you have on any of the videos that I posted previously. And I wish you the best of luck in growing your account out there.